Welcome to this introductory video on your student Chromebook. In this video you will learn what a Chromebook is, how to log on to your Chromebook, how to access the Google Apps for Education portal, the proper care and maintenance for your Chromebook, and the daily expectations. Let's get started. Introducing Chromebooks for Education, a simple way to bring the power of the web into the classroom, manage school-wide sets of hardware, and keep students focused. For instance, Chromebooks leave more time for teaching by booting up in just eight seconds. That's less time than it takes to make a paper airplane. Even after entering sleep mode, they resume working immediately. And unlike most notebook computers, Chromebooks have a battery that lasts up to eight hours. So even at the end of a long school day, they're still going strong. Built-in Wi-Fi and optional 3G allow Chromebooks to connect to the web anytime, anywhere. Chromebooks are also built around a web browser, which means everything is stored online. Students and teachers can simply log on to any machine to access their emails, documents, and personal settings. So there are no more excuses for missing or incomplete homework. Without the need for constant software updates and yearly re-imaging, Chromebooks make it easy to provide each student with their own computer. Schools can manage an entire fleet of Chromebooks with just a few clicks. Administrators can configure and manage computers and user accounts via a web-based console. They can also control which web apps and extensions users can add. Chromebooks stay up to date with the latest features and fixes, so IT managers can spend less time updating hardware and more time focusing on the important things. Integrated security provides multiple layers of protection that defends computers and the entire network from malware and viruses. The Chromebooks for Education program includes everything from the computers and operating system to updates, web-based management, and extended warranty and support from Google. At the end of the day, Chromebooks for Education enables schools to be more efficient in terms of classroom time, IT resources, and technology budgets, which ultimately leads to happier teachers, students, and parents. Now that you've seen what a Chromebook is, let's take a look at how to log into your new Chromebook. When you first open your Chromebook, you'll see a screen that looks like this. You'll have to enter your new email and password. Use the following criteria. For this example, we'll use a sample student. Our sample student's name is James Edward Smith, and he graduates in 2018. This student would use the following naming convention. First enter 18 for the cohort year, the first initial of his first name, the first letter of his middle name, and his last name, at smusd90.org. The first time the student logs in, their password will be SMUSDGAFE. It is important to then change your password. You can do this by going to your account settings, clicking the security tab, and choosing a password that you'll remember. Once you're logged in, you'll see some icons in the lower left-hand corner. We're going to click on the apps menu, which looks like nine little squares all together. From here, you can see all your applications that you currently have access to, including Chrome and your student email. Clicking the email icon will take you to a screen that looks like this. This will be the primary location for any communication between the teachers and students. Now let's take a look how you can access the Google Apps for Education student portal. Let's open a new tab and go to smusd90.org. There you'll see, underneath the quick links, a link that takes you to Google Apps for Education. At the Google Apps for Education homepage, you'll find an introduction message as well as some videos all about Google Apps for Education. The information on this page will change often, so please make sure to check it regularly. The next tab is the Calendar tab, and it'll take you to the District Calendar. All district events, such as days off, holidays, and vacation times are listed on this calendar. The next tab is Important Links. Currently, you can find the student Google Apps for Education login link here. If a student is trying to access their Google Apps for Education from a computer that is not a Chromebook, they'll need to come to this location to log in. The next tab will answer the most frequently asked questions that parents and students typically have. On the right hand side under the Quick Links menu, you'll find an incident report. If anything happens to your Chromebook, please go to this site and enter in an incident report. Here's a look at the incident report. You must be logged in with your smusd90.org account in order to file an incident report. Let's take a moment and talk about proper care and maintenance of your Chromebook. 
Please keep all food and drink away from your Chromebook while you're working on it. Please take extra precaution when plugging and unplugging your Chromebook. Students should use both hands and keep the lid closed when moving their Chromebook around the classroom. When it's time to go home, please do not jam a Chromebook into a stuffed backpack. Doing so may damage the screen. Here in Arizona, it's also important to remember to keep your Chromebook out of direct sunlight for long periods of time. Extreme temperatures can be very harmful to your device. Finally, let's take a look at the daily expectations. First, students will be required to bring their Chromebook and charger with them every day. Your Chromebook should come to school fully charged each day. It is also important to bring your Chromebook to school in a protective case. If you have any questions about this video or your Chromebook in general, please email myself or Mr. Bailey. Also, subscribe to our SMUSD YouTube channel for more videos on how to use your Chromebook. Thanks for watching.